What's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about how to gear up your alts quick and get them ready for Argus before it even drops. So I know all of you know about the nether shard farming on the broken shore. If you don't, it's fairly simple. You get nether shards, you buy gear from these two vendors, and they can be up to 890, 860-ish range. So let's hop over to how you really want to gear up. So this is the Obliterum Forge, as you all know and have learned to love. What you do is you need a PvP. To gear up your alts extremely fast, PvPing is the best way to do it. What you need to do is you need to go into the pre-made group finder, find an arena partner, it's very simple, or just start your own, do some low CR, some low rated RBGs, some low rated PvP, and you'll get items that drop that will either be too low for you or an upgrade. If they're too low for you, you put them in the Obliterum Forge, and what this gives you are these things called Echoes of Battle. Now these Echoes of Battle are actually very, very useful. This is how I geared up three of my alts to 910 in less than two weeks. And people always complain about gearing up alts as if it takes forever, but this is what I do. I go and I PvP for a while, get my item level to about 900, and then people will start inviting me to raids. You want to come to this vendor if you're Horde, and buy these pieces for 100 Echoes of Battle, and they, this, I mean this is an 895 that I got from this vendor. And what you do is you get the gear and then people will start to invite you on raids like Tomb of Sargeras, Heroic and whatnot. And that's how you get geared quicker than if you were to just another farm. If you're Alliance, your vendor is going to be somewhere down in there. So I hope this helps you out. PvP, get your Echoes of Battle, spend it on your items and you will get geared up much, much quicker. And it will just help you out in the long run. So that's all I've got for you today guys. I hope you have a good one and take care.